Come on. Get them shackles off him. Puss, I can't eat proper. Dunno. I'm not sure I like that. What if he runs for it? He's worth a heap of coin. Ah, bollocks. Been all in him a week, hasn't tried a thing. Why are you up and bolt now? Matter of fact, got to thinking. What did a sweet, gentle chap like him do to get the Queen of Zericania so riled? She's a shrew, that's a queen and witch in one. <laughs> Worst of both worlds. Enough about her. What do you say to one more of your tales? While well, we toss down some cards. Ah, why not? And since you mentioned one queen... Really disgusting monster. I'm not looking forward to uh, the bad things I'm going to encounter on this map. What's that Bubba Sparks song? Back up in the mud again. Oh yeah, I still have to uh, talk to all my people in the mess tent. That's a good way to start the day. You, you got nothing to say, Isabel? I'm pleased to see you again, Mom. You need something? Well, apparently not. Duty calls. I must go. Of course. Should you need me, I'll be here. Oh, Kali Dokali. Raynard, what's up, man? Yes, Your Grace. Why are the Nilf Guardians so cruel? Because they're dirty Nilf Guardians. Reynard, you fought in the first war against Nilfgaard, did you not? Yes, Your Grace. Though, as a mere captain then. Were they equally cruel? Did they scorch fields, turn peasants into slaves? Nay, Your Grace. They fought with honor in those days. Mm hmm So, what's happened? Why the change? It said Emperor Emir Va Emrys's heart hardened over the years. He's grown crueler, more ruthless. His soldiers' zeal for violence has followed suit. But you don't say that. No, Your Grace. To your mind, why do they now despise us as they war against us? It is ever easier to loathe those you know. Before the first war, they knew nothing about us. Hmm. Then they saw they had the better weapons, larger cities, superior craft. But in our towns, waste flowed through the streets in open gutters. Gross. And they concluded we weren't their equals. It's far easier to kill when one holds such a belief. Hmm. That's fair. It's time I attended to other matters. I mean, it's understandable, it's not fair. Uh... <laughs> What's up, Gabor? Always good to see the Queen. How can I help you? Yeah, we gotta talk. We haven't had a chance to speak since we left Mahakam. Why join us? Or decide to leave your homeland, for that matter? As I said, I was in your debt. Still am. You're a Dwarf of Honor. I'm pleased. But not entirely convinced was reason enough for you to leave your clan. Not about to let me off easy, are you? All right. 
I may have been motivated elsewise. By a guilty conscience? The horridness with the Fuchses. All that blood and mud. It went too far. I tried to talk it out with the elders. They brushed me aside like a wee bear. But that weren't the whole of it. I saw the shite dwarves living in your cities go through. Thought I'd forget once I came home. Got back to dealing with my own problems. Only... Can he forget something like that? I've got to help. Any way I can. But nothing would come of my sitting on my arse in my hack. I understand, Gabor. And I know you'll find a way to help. Well, yeah, you definitely better. That's why you're here. We shall return to this conversation later. No skin off my back. We see each other, Your Grace. What's up, Xavier? Yes, my lady. He did save her life. If you don't know what he's talking about, you missed it on the last stream. <laughs> I haven't had the opportunity to thank you. Had you not been so alert, we'd have fallen to our deaths in Mahakam. I merely did my duty, Your Majesty. Good man. <laughs> Modest as ever. Yet once the war is over, I shall make certain you're properly rewarded. My lady, the one reward I desire is victory. Your victory. Man, what a good dude. Other matters await my attention. We shall speak later. See you later, Xavier. As you wish, my lady. What's up, Barnabas? You ugly, ugly little gnome dude. You need my help with anything? Ugh, anything creepy. At all? I've ideas aplenty. Creeper. Ever traveled with an army before? Frankly, can't say that I have. You folk are my first. And let me say, it's not nearly as dull as I expected. Your traveling companions are fascinating, truly. Is that so? Who, if I might ask? Um, let me think. Then there's that aged woman, Isabel, is it? Oh, your grace, a complete lunatic, that one. Did you know she believes the world to be round? Round! Like an egg! <laughs> Everybody knows the Earth is flat. But I think he probably had something to say about Ake, who's not here. Because it's then there's that aged woman. Either that or Black Rayla. Mm. <laughs> uh, and just between the two of us, the quiet chap, Xavier, gives me the willies, truth be told. Could just be on account of his face looking like a piece of taffy stuck to the sole of a boot. Hey. You give me the creeps just because of your creeper face. So, you watch it, Barnabas. Who else? Uh, oh, right. A word of advice. Never play Gascon at cards. He's a hustler, that one. And he tells tall tales. Um, about debts, specifically. Ones that I supposedly owe him. Hmm. And the Reynard fellow. <laughs> what a jester. Always good for a laugh. I'm sorry, what? Every day he barks at me, standard attention, with a perfectly straight face. And last, he asked them, um, <laughs> asked if I'd served in the Norm Army. <laughs> I mean, really, sometimes I just can't with that man. <laughs> Very thorough, Barnabas. I thank you. You didn't talk about Gabor, though. Time oh, no. I attended to other matters. See you, Barnabas. Hmm? Yes, you're still here. Off you go, then. Rude. Gascon, what's going on, my man? Hey, ho! How's my favorite queen in the north? Don't call me a ho. Ever have regrets? Feel remorse? <laughs> yeah, right. This is Gascon we're talking to. For what? <laughs> oh, I don't know. Killing innocents, perhaps? Murdering travelers, pilgrims? I've always warned them. Won't touch a hair on your heads, provided you don't resist. So, see? Gave them a choice. Ah! Besides, innocents? Please, Meave. We both know those to be mythical creatures. Everyone's got something on their conscience. That's fair. So there's always call for murder? Well, not always. That's right. Dead right. 
you need, but answer it. Whew. Badass gas gun. See you later, Next dude. Next time I attended to other matters. Farewell. Alright, we don't have near enough to make anything, correct? That's correct, you age. That's 4,000 wood. That's 2,000. I can get those pretty soon. <clears throat> That's too much wood, man. Where are we going to find all that lumber? I'm not going to buy it at the trading post. The exchange rates are ridiculous. Well, that's not even a thing. All right. Here we go. We've got to take this bridge. Bridge on the Yaruga. Hello, crappy camp with a palisade. Oh, we can take that. Look, there's only two, three dudes in it. Hidden among brambles, Meave watched the Nilfgaardian sentries atop the palisade. In full gear, alert in stance, they looked sharp and ready to defend the stronghold. Blast. Meave hissed, for she now knew Red Lobindon would not fall by surprise. A siege would be needed, but it would slow her advance. True. Yet there was naught she could do, as this was her one road to Angren and to Caldwell. Raynard wiped the sweat from his brow, donned his helmet, and dropped his visor with a tap. On your command, your majesty. The gas gun doesn't have a plan? Well, what, we're gonna turn around and go home? No, we're going. Very well. We mustn't delay. Raynard, our plan of attack. Armored infantry to lead and take the first salvo upon their breast, scaling ladders to follow. Afterwards, masterful. Truly masterful. There he is. Gascon. My Yet, man. Despite the mastery, fit to be improved. How namely? Hold back your force. Lie in waiting. I'll take ten good men and open the gates for you. Wide. My man, Gascon. You're the best. And how do you aim to achieve this? Asked Raynard. Knock and claim to be a trinket peddler, I suppose. Or perhaps one of Lebioda's devout disciples. Must you know every last detail? Where's the fun in that, sir? There's none in warfare. Never. Seethed Raynard. For war is no farce. Your Majesty, he stands no chance. Not the slightest. None at all, I concur. Yet his eagerness intrigues. Let's see what he can do. Raynard did not approve of Meave's decision, this was clear, yet he dared not undermine it. The Queen's blessing now his, Gascon assembled a small force and set off straight for the stronghold gate. Lambs to the slaughter, muttered Raynard, nah. shaking his head. My Queen, it's not too late. We can always... Shh! Look. Already at the gate, Gascon lifted his arm in a gesture of peace, then merrily bantered a bit with the guards. A moment later, the gates jerked into motion. But how? No matter. The gate stands open. We must attack. Meave raced off towards the fortress without even glancing back. She knew well her soldiers would follow. Main main gas gun. The Battle of Red Lovenden. The guards continued their attempt to close the gate, but Gascon's men quickly disposed of them, thrusting their knives between gaps in the heavy plate. The Illyrians raised their fists in triumph and cheered, but Meave was quick to silence them. The celebration was premature. True, the invaders lost the tactical advantage, but had not yet been defeated. Story battle, short and battle, let's do it! Holy hot moly. Few of these guys. Ooh. Destroy a random Nilf Guardian ally. <clears throat> nice. Enemy unit appears on the range row. So nobody go here. Okay. Definitely you. Got a couple of those. I'm definitely using him. No. Good. Um, like 
bad. Okay, let's say that's good. What in the schnabels is happening here? The strays have come to play. Oh. Draw a card if you're losing. Okay. That'll hit the end of the forest. <coughs> Knock out one of your teeth. That'll do. Yeah, let's do it. Ah. Let's go with that. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Wise choice. Things gone. Straight up kill that. Or I can kill that. That'd be nice to get rid of. Yeah, yeah, those guys are fine. Without hesitation. <clears throat> My boots got sand up your teeth in them. It's 
power with this unit's power. Okay. Let's go ahead and do that. Ow. Hey, what the hell? This will be good. Oh, good murder of paint. You. You. Oh, that's all? Okay, whatever. I thought he'd keep splitting it, but I guess he only did it once. I'm gonna get Jesus up with me. We'll catch them all! Please wait, Your Excellency. I'm falling behind. One row towards the opponent. Huh. Yeah. Fear not. We shall achieve our goal. Gonna pass me those lovely earrings, or do I tear them off myself? Oh man, can't pick a. <clears throat> well, pick him. What's the? Oh, it's the emissary. All right. Is that uh, Jesus there we go <clears throat> I like this one I don't know what that does someone's turning into a bear Now he's not moving anywhere. I'm gonna move, lose a couple of those guys this turn, though. Now oh, we'll save that for this guy. Yep. 
Good, uh, now I can... Yeah. Arm is a waste of time for one like me. Hopefully it doesn't have another one of those. Discipline. That is what you okay. folk lack. One red lobbington for you, my lady. Compliments of the house. <laughs> Gascon seemed a fiend as he fought his way to the keep, then single-handedly killed the commander. Suddenly leaderless, the Nilfgaardians laid down their arms. What a fiend. My, my, Gascon. Color me surprised. No, I wasn't surprised. I knew you could do it. Pleasantly so, I trust. Don't fish for compliments. It doesn't suit you. <laughs> Besides, you know you deserve both medal and title. <laughs> I shall hold you to it, my queen. In due course. But I must know how. What ruse persuaded the North Guardians to open the gate? Come, come, my delightful charms, no ruse. Ah, I bet he told him he was the traitor. Oh, I see. Not one to share secrets. Unremarkable, as I see it. I'd hold my tongue too, were my conscience thus burdened. Well, uh -oh. I've done now to hide my shameful past, friend. I was a brigand, indeed, yet. Do not dare take me for a fool. You know of what I speak. Mm -hmm. Yet I don't. Reynard, what is this? What the devils is with you? Your Grace, in Mahakam, the Nilfgaardian letter we managed to intercept. Consider your offer accepted. Direct Meave and her force to the agreed site. We await their arrival. Your reward shall be as agreed. It was Gascon who told us Caldwell had received Angren to rule. It was Gascon who suggested we ride for Lobindon. Here. The Blackclads willingly opened the gate, for they expected him to deliver a prisoner. You! But he didn't. But he didn't. But, uh, so I, I do believe it, but like... Uh, mm, uh, hmm. <laughs> Yes, I might have expected as much. When captive, I asked you why you'd chosen to aid me. Your answer was odd and unconvincing. Maeve! It's your majesty, you rogue. Oh, come on. What do they promise you? Amnesty? Coin in heaps? Ah, both. Hmm. I knew Nilfgaard wouldn't parley with me as a matter of course. To be treated seriously, I needed something they valued. A stroke of luck, it was the chance to free you from Coldwell's grip. Okay, that's fair. I understand. It was in Edern that we first spoke. Then came to an understanding after Rosberg's fall. Why do I still live then? Why not snatch me under Knight's mantle? Drag me to Red Lobindon in chains? Because I'm so cool and great. Leave. I sought to sell you out, I did, and aimed to gain by it. Yet in Edern, you earned my respect. In Mahakam, my admiration. I swore then I wouldn't follow the terms of the accord I'd made. Instead, I'd let you into the fort and make damn sure the Commandant couldn't reveal the truth. Not bad. Alas, seems I underestimated Reynard. Flattery will get you nout. You, sir, are a traitor. Oh, not anymore. Oh, please, friend. 
You appear to me a pot that calls the kettle black. Oh. Yeah, I'll ask about that. Reynard? What does he mean? I've no notion, Your Grace. Not the slightest. Truly. <laughs> and I had you pegged for a man of honor. Come now, Reynard. Who sent secret missives to Villain? Go on, you really should tell your queen. What? Reynard? Communicate with that worm? His Highness guest chambers in Mahakam. One of my lads snuck in. Found a letter bearing the signature of one Reynard Odo. Reynard, I beg you. Say it's not so. Tell me it's a filthy lie. Uh, I, uh, your grace. <sighs> I'd hoped his highness and you would reconcile. To see son stand against mother rent my heart. I, 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 I wish to help. Behind my back. Your majesty, I sought merely to push the youth to see reason. To open his eyes. So say you now. Yet I can't know what was in the letters. I can't know what pacts you made. And alas, I can no longer take you at your word. What? Come on. Wait a minute. No. I'm not alone in having deceived. Yet I am in repairing my wrong. Meave felt a tempest rise inside her. Come on, Meave. Yet she could not release it lest it cloud her view. She would solve the problem, strike it from her mind, and resume her journey at once. Don't do it. Yeah, I'm not kicking these guys out. You're both staying, homies. Drawn and quartered, I should have you both. Yet in truth, I cannot do without your aid. Now more than ever. Tis the one reason I show mercy and forgive. Your Grace, perhaps made with doubt, but tis the right decision. I shall prove it. Thank you. Reynard and I rarely see eye to eye, but under the circumstances, I second his every word. <laughs> no shit. Because <laughs> otherwise you'd be gone or dead. Oh, shut your damn traps. And I believe you're needed in the wagon train. Now! Yeah, get going. The Queen's wish was clear and fierce. Gascon and Reynard slid off, leaving Meave to her thoughts. Well, at least I've still got Nickers. He'll never betray me. From the Palisades rampart, Meave gazed out over the marshlands across the Aruga. The Queen sighed deeply. She expected great challenges in Angren. She had also expected, even hoped, to find the one traitor in her midst. But two, and both her close aides de camp. She felt a weight upon her heart now. Blasted all, she muttered. Not the first dagger I've taken in the back. Likely not the last either. Mm. Yet to pity my lot will help not at all. From the captive Nilf guardians, Meave learned Caldwell was at Tuzla Castle, in Angren's very heart. A small detachment would remain at Red Lobinden, while the Queen, with the rest of her force, set off to face the treacherous Count. Heck yeah. Mom, oh. I must speak to you when you find a free moment. Oh dear, that's not good. <clears throat> to the pa to Palatine Caldwell from Duke Arnulf Dahi. Your request to return to Lyria has been rejected. I agree with your argument that King Villain requires the support of an experienced politician. That is why I shall advise him should the need arise. For now, your talents are more useful in Angren. As you know, the Emperor depends on the rapid delivery of building materials to our shipyards. I advise you to make fulf the fulfillment of his wishes your top priority. Delays are unacceptable. Yeah. That's Nilf Guardians for you. Hello, map. Standard battles. Three and a puzzle battle. What a weird winding road this is. Huh. What in the world? 
Okie dokie. And... I feel like she's gonna run away. Are you gonna leave? I don't use your card that often, but it is quite nice. I'm pleased to see you again, Mom. You need something. You wish to speak with me? In private? Yes, Mom. I've given thought to certain matters. Uh oh. The time's come to explain and oh. reveal my decisions. Oh dear. I've not been entirely honest, but I've seen you very much deserve the truth. Oh boy, everybody's being dishonest with me today. You're brave, wise, and above all, you've a good heart. Yeah. And thus, you're unlike any other ruler I've ever met. Yay. Had dealings with. I'm the best. Isabel, what is it you wish to say? You're starting to worry me. I told you of Sintra and Sodden. Do you recall? It's true, I took part in that war. Yet, I fought for the Empire. Uh-oh. What? I'm not certain I understand. My name is Isabel Eb Weirmos. Oh, dear. Of Nilfgaard. I wish I could say I am from a conquered province. I wish I had that luxury. But no. I hail from the city of the Golden Towers itself. So you got three traitors, but you're not really a traitor. You just are a North Guardian. I'm gonna kick her out. Please continue. My. I'd certainly not expected that. Please, tell me more. I went straight from the academy to the army, as majors do in Nilfgaard. Yet I truly believed our aim to be to build a better world. With our help, the mages, the Emperor conquered realm after realm, right up to the Amal Mountains. So wait a minute. I could have killed, kicked out Gascon, Reynard, and now Isbel. I could just have... Xavier, Barnabas, Gabon, Gabor, and Nickers left? She whiz. Yet he was not sated, and turned his greedy eyes to the north. But the north stood and faced him. I'll never forget the bloodbath he wrought in Sintra. It was unspeakable. He sought to intimidate us. He united us instead. Indeed. At Sodden, when chaos engulfed the Imperial Army, I saw my chance to flee the madness and begin life anew. And I did just that. I never sought thereafter to rejoin my countrymen or return to my home. Instead, I stayed in the North and swore never again to use my magic to harm others. Yet I cannot stand idle as the Emperor perpetrates atrocity after atrocity. I wish to fight at your side. Hell yeah, I love magic. Why would I ever not allow it? You're welcome to stay. All deserve a second chance. Yet from now on, there are to be no more secrets between us. That's fair. Certainly. I thank you. You've no idea what this means to me. Good. Oh, and Isabel, this must stay between us alone, for your own sake. Well, that's fair. I appreciate the concern, ma'am, but you needn't worry about me. I've lived for some time in the north, and dare say I know how to get by. So she does have like crazy magic. Oh, heck yeah. Uh, well, tell me more about Nilfgaard. The city of the Golden Towers. Don't think I know any soul who's seen it with their own eyes. Did you know many common folk believe they're made of real gold, the towers? Yet they're named for how the southern sun dances off their rooftops. My family lived in the capital long before Nilfgaard was ever an empire. The city is of great beauty was always a source of pride, turned arrogance in time. 
When I was but a lass, my father would take me to the Grand Amphitheater to watch the gladiators fight. A daughter of Nilfgaard should grow accustomed to the sight of blood, he said. For to conquer the world was our destiny. Dreadful. He must have hated it. Oh, come on. At the time, I saw nothing wrong in it. I admired the gladiators for their bravery, skill, finesse. Though now it shames me to admit it. Duty calls. I must go. See ya. Of course. Should you need me, I'll be here. Let's see what that card does. Damage enemies at random by the total damage taken. Oh, so it's the it's the inverse of her uh, her other card, which boosted our side. Heck yeah! Destroy people. It'll be freaking great. Don't talk to me like that. Goddess me! Goddess me, sir! Savarut, Nordling, Net! Hey, buddy. I'll keep a close eye on him, ma'am. Don't you fret. I'll keep a close eye on him, ma'am. Don't you fret. Oh, I'm not worried about that. What's up here, I wonder? Hello? And a golden chest. Barnabas. Yuck. All right. This is Off we go on a wild adventure. No two ways to it. Charming this county the Blacklads granted Coldwell to rape. Yes. A gift so lovely Coldwell could not refuse. At Dahi, it seems, wished to be rid of the Count, so as to rule Lyria alone. Smart. I do wonder why they quarreled. Coldwell wished to rule by Willem's hand, and by his claim. Of little benefit to Nilfgaard, so the General disapproved. As do I. By all means. Well, I mean, you can't. You also can't trust traitors. So why would you give him prime real estate to guard? Standard battle down here. And a little hut. <clears throat> Let's see what I can build. Huge fan of either one, but we'll go with this because I have a couple of those guys, I think. Right. Oop, command time. Sappers, actually. <clears throat> okay, I do have some of those. That's good. Adjacent units with order. Okay. That's not bad, actually. I don't know if I have enough. Yeah, I can make a couple of those. Oh, 
you. Can make a couple of you too. One thing I don't want. doesn't do much damage, but I like that he gets a charge with every every time he's loyal. Hello, creepy thing. Gonna investigate this house down here first. Hello, question mark boat. Well, I'm gonna lose some men if I try and get whatever is in that. The grace, the water is strewn with bodies and capsized boats. It seems the villagers tried to escape to the other side of the swamp, but were attacked by an... Iliochorus. We could try to fish out their possessions, but we should be aware that movement along the banks may alert monsters. I'll lose eight, dude. Sorry, guys. I need that lumber. The monsters are protecting this area here. Let's see. Hey, buddy. Ah, Ghost Town. The inhabitants, the inhabitants of Angren, always had endured many hardships: war, disease, poisonous swamp gases, and above all else, monsters. Nowhere were safe, not even their own homes. Dun, dun, dun. Standard battle. What you got, monsters? Whatever a vampire has played boosted by two, yuck. It's not bad. Okay. Take that for now. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's good. Ooh, I like that. I'll take those. It's not bad. There you go. You can try to win them all, but you won't. 
those two guys to feast on. <clears throat> A time to sow, and a time to die. <clears throat> ah! Blood card. Let's just play both of those fellers. To me, old lady. Drain them, and they'll do ten damage. Fool. <laughs> Yeehaw. You mad? Don't shake that! Ouch. Why'd he pick that rope? To reason why. Woo wee! I didn't know I had so many of that. Yeah, one card left, buddy. Ow. Never had 
your kneecaps broken. Elven Blarney. And I win, because I'm the greatest. Stupid monsters. Can't hang with me. Oh, there's nothing on this side, but there's a gold chest over there. Hello, fast travel station. Hey, buddy. Your Majesty, it seems like... A <clears throat> it seems likely a monstrous beast of some sort is responsible for the attack on this caravan. The horse's carcasses bear the markings of fangs and claws. Ew. Some of the merchants must have survived, for there are footprints in the mud leading south. What shall we do with the goods abandoned here? Should we leave them as they are, or requisition them to cover wartime expenses? Well, well like, are they, are they cursed? Something bad gonna happen. I'm just gonna take them. Card fragment. Hello, bridge. The queen, the bridge has collapsed, but our engineers claim they can fix it with the appropriate tools. In any case, we do not lack for supplies. Let's find another path. I don't need that bridge fixed. I'm not coming back this way. Screw that. Hey, monster. Ah. Drip, drip, drip. A low rumble echoed in the distance. The sky opened and rain began to fall. Helms, shields, and plate rattled noisily under heavy raindrops. The soldiers walked along a narrow path, taking care not to slip, and often cursing their miserable lot. But they all quickly fell silent when, at the fore of the march, a scout stopped suddenly in his tracks. And with a loud roar and a patter of rain, he heard something. Something that chilled his blood. Standard battle. It's an ancient foglet, which is a pain in the butt. At least I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Whoa, you! Destroy the lowest units, then damage a random enemy by the power of the destroyed units. Yuck. Let's go with that. My turn, eh? Let's put that bad boy out there. Any battles? Hungry like a wolf, I am. Because if he destroys the lowest units, which are those two, oh well, he's gonna do it for me. Put this feller out. E war, you dirty tart. Whoa. Jerk. So at the start of the next turn, he'll do one damage, and this will do five to that. One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven. These guys are just going to go away. Uh, they have to play a card, though. I'm going to pass. Naturally, at once. Ow. Really? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Don't pass up any of these guys. I'll drop that, all right? Your kneecaps broken. All right. Woohoo, I did it. All right, I like that. That's pretty good. Especially like that. Okay. Willing and how, but these dumb boots are killing me. Yeah. Two random units by one. Oh, that's not a big deal. He's got an order. What a is the poison? <laughs> Wait, you're serious?
thing about slings, they hide well. Don't kill him. Damn it. Well, now I'm gonna kill him. Pissing in the moat? Oh, you're dead. Pointy end upwards, right? Nice. Damn it. Oof. It's like, well, we'll see what happens. Hopefully he doesn't have any more of these. Because then he could seize either one of those two and I'd be totally screwed. Let's see what happens. That's fine. That's fine. Good. Huzzah! Just barely. Story mission way down there. Okay, we'll go visit up here first. From Foltest, King of Temeria, ooh, to Angrinian Foreign Defense Corps. The Nilf Guardians have breached our defenses. I am ordering a complete retreat to Temeria and Brug via the shortest routes. Do not confront Nilf Guardian forces except in cases of direct attack or attempts at disarmament. All should negotiate the withdrawal of garrisons for each town they reach. Hmm. All right, let's go get that golden chest from down here. Ew, look at that flower thing. Yuck. What in the... There it is. Okay. Hello, monster. Broken bridge. The bridge connecting the two banks of the backwater had rotted through, forcing the Lyrians to circumvent it. The Katakan, who prowled the area, knew well of the bridge's condition and, for this reason, hid just off the beaten path. Crouching in the thicket, it waited patiently, licking its fangs in anticipation. Well, it was just standing out there. It wasn't hiding. More standard battles with monsters. That's quite scary, that is. Vampire booster. Yep. It's with depleted order. That's nice. Uh, I like you better later. 
same as you. That'll do. Well, try my first. Left, right, left, right. Is that? What's the horse thief? See if he's had any coin in his pockets or his holes. I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm taking it. Half a league away. Ha! Whoa. Let's say you better pass after that one, sir. Look at this. Look at this ridiculousness. God, I'm good. Chase is on. Eh, pass. That's fine. Gonna need um, three buckets of nails and a tub full of pegs.
Bigger they are, easier they are to target. You must sweat like a swine in that jacket. This. There's a time to reap, a time to sow, and a time to die. Good. Oh good, I have him. Okay, this is how we're gonna do this. Use him. My pain serves a purpose. Two, one, two. first. Now this. Now you. Discipline shall bring us victory. He can't pull him because he's immune. Nice. I'm a monster. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You're gone. All right, let's see what happens. I don't have any bronze enemies because he's gold. That's why. Yep, I'm the best. <clears throat> Stupid monsters, you can't hang with me. Hard for Gwent, a glusty wolf. Thank you. Go back up here first. Hello, puzzle battle. What are you doing? Abandoned outpost. One week. All it took for the Nilf Guardians to wrest Angren from Tamaria. The Blackclads quickly learned, however, that they mustn't rest on their laurels. Their true enemies were not the Nordlings who had supposedly ruled the lands, but the beasts who dwelled within. It is they who taught the Nilfgaardians early on that it's best not to venture too deeply into the swamps. Eliminate all Arcospores without letting any allies die. Puzzle Special Rules Shortened Battle Custom Deck.
Every turn on turn end, if this power's unit is even, move one row toward the opponent and damage the lowest unit by one. to your command. What there? Stupid flowers, you can't beat me up. Nordling Fenklor. Quickly, Leloy. At ease, Nordling. What? Way be gone, my lord. Something. A strange missive. We've got another point of interest down here. Let's see what's over here first, then we'll go down there. That's the bridge, yep. Yeah. That looks pretty terrible. Let's see what happens. Milady, something made of precious metal shimmers on the floor of the swamp. It could be ancient elven treasure. We can attempt to pull it out, but we must be prepared for the worst. These waters are not the safest. Uh, lose some soldiers in morale to get money. Or lose a little bit of wood to get money. Thanks, Barnabas. Thanks for making that contraption. Hello, Puzzle Battle. I see you. Alright. Off we go on a grand adventure. That's everything, right? Let's just make a... Make a sweep around, make sure we didn't miss anything like that. Heck yeah. Well, there's almost half the wood we just used. That's good. Make extra sure nothing's anywhere. Okay. Valyrians came to a crossroads. Oh dear. As Meeve and her scouts conferred about the proper path to take, a footman, of a sudden, collapsed upon the muddy ground. His comrades strove to rouse him. Alas, to no avail. Meave called for a medic. One arrived, post-haste. He checked for wounds, a heartbeat, all else for which a medic checks. Then he peered down the soldier's throat. In a flash, he was on his feet, his hand over his mouth, backing away. What's with him? What's wrong? The queen asked, her eyes darting between the medic and his patient. Typhus exanthematicus, your grace. Replied the physician, wiping his hands with a spirit-soaked cloth. Typhus yeah. fever. Contagious? Extremely, I fear. Though not yet at this stage. The spots are but in his mouth for now. Tomorrow he'll be blotched all over. It's then the disease turns infectious. I see. What about a cure? Is one known? Nope. The medic looked at Meave, shook his head and shrugged. Alas, 
there was precisely naught he could do. But where medicine fails, magic may at times stand in. It's just gonna Without say what should this bell thoughts, do? Meave called for Isbel. It's Typhus, I've no doubt. The healer confirmed. I know a spell that could be helpful. Vigil's cleansing, we call it. It takes time to prepare and many ingredients. Rather costly, or... Oh, it's only 250 bucks, I can spare that. Coins no object, said Meave. Get to work at once. Isbel returned from the local herbalist with herbs valuable and rare. Fern blossoms, mandrake root, comfrey seeds and more. She then pulled from her bundle a variety of vessels, funnels, retorts, alembics, carafes. Colored concoctions she then brewed. Steam and strange odors rising from them. Hours later, after much effort, she had a few drops of a thick substance in a flask. Isbel whispered an incantation, then gave the remedy to the dying man. His tremors and fever subsided at once, the other symptoms fading within hours. At last, Meave could breathe a deep sigh of relief. It's nice of her to worry so much about one single footman. Heck yeah. There, morale's up. I had hoped that that would happen. Hello, random person in the road. Do you have a chef's hat on? What is that on your head? It is a land of monsters. Belongs to them, it does. Human folk and nout but guests here. Beware, me lady. Watch out for leeches, especially. They'll slip in your knickers, give them half a chance. Ha! <laughs> No matter what they think, Nilf guardians won't last long here. Come a time, they'll leave gladly. Just like all the others. You've a good heart, my lady. If you'll not have victuals, please, take this. Elf engraving or some such. Means nought to us, but might could help ye. Sweet. No matter what they think. Yeah. Hey, buddy. Let me get this stuff first and then I'll be right with you. That's a standard battles around here. What's going on, buddy? You look like a like a tradesperson. Your Majesty, a merchant named Venslov of Maribor has requested you hear his plea. His horse has died of some unknown affliction, leaving his wagon of goods stuck in a swamp. He's prepared to sell his entire stock at a reduced price. He wishes to cut his losses and get out of anger as soon as possible. What is your response? Uh, I need lumber more than I need gold. So, I'll buy him out. Holy smokes, I bought him out and he completely disappeared. Hey, fellas. Nothing. What can I build with that glorious lumber? Traps. Traps and machines. Got all that. Got all but the palisade. Which is a lot more lumber. I'm gonna hang out for a bit, see if I can build up to that. Especially after this puzzle battle out here. Hello, where are you at? Oh, this goopy glop. What a lovely place to live. There's nothing hiding in the trees here. Maximilian Keller, Docent Oxenford Academy, to Rain Vigmort, Vigmont, 
In accordance with your request, I made inquiries into the accuracy of rumors surrounding this so-called Golden Grotto. The results of my research confirm that such a place in fact exists, and it lies to the north of the elven ruins, which are known simply to the locals as the Arches. It seems the Unshade truly did hide a portion of their riches before abandoning the swamp. However, I urge extreme caution. The Elder Races rarely leave their property unguarded. True. Like by this thing, you mean? Swamp Song. Meave pricked up her ears. Through the hum of mosquitoes and croaking frogs, she heard something unexpected. A singing woman. Puzzled, the queen followed the voice. Bad idea. She soon stood before the entrance to a cave, footprints visible in the mud. They appeared human, if you don't count the three-inch claws. Move Meave to the opponent's ranged row. Puzzle special rule short in battle. Custom deck extra cards. Meave to the opponent's ranged row. Torrential rain from this row and add a stray slinger card to Meave's hand. Destroy a water hag. Every turn on turn end, if there's no torrential rain on the row in front of this unit, move to that row and spawn a Lyrian Arbalist. Oh crap, I hit the wrong one. Didn't I? I did. Ever have a storm knock out one of your teeth? Yep, I screwed it up. I read it wrong. a better day. Under or below. I bit the white of an eye from half a league away. Give me a target. There we go. That should do it. Let me run one row up. Boop. Bigger they are, easier they are to target. Yeah. Loop. Abolista, your command. There we go. I'm a monster. I did it. Not bad.
fancy place. Okay. This place sure ain't fancy. Beware, my lady. Watch out for leeches, especially. They'll slip in your knickers, give them half a chance. Hello, strange people. What's happening here, then? For no visible reason, the Lyrian column came to a halt. Neve stood in her stirrups in a bid to see the cause. Something had blocked the way, it seemed. Something large. A tree felled by a storm, or an abandoned wagon, the Queen thought. Neither was true. A boulder huge as a barn lay in their path. Footmen had slung ropes around it, planted their feet, and now sought to pull it aside. It did not budge an inch. Perhaps I could assist you. Meave turned in her saddle on hearing the voice. Several travelers in faded robes warily crept from the trees. A young woman with long, light-colored hair led the way. You don't much resemble a rock troll, said the queen, eyeing the slender stranger skeptically. But go on. Do try. The fair-haired lass crouched beside the stone, closed her eyes, and began to whisper. Horses wheeled and tugged at their reins. A hound howled in the distance. And then, the boulder rolled to the side like an apple crossed the deck of a boat rocked by seas. Who are you? Do tell. A druid. Came her calm response. This stone. It stood in our circle. The woman silently turned toward the wood. Me followed her gaze, and among the trees saw other large stones, cracked and scorched. What happened here? We refused the Nilfgaardian's aid, answered the druid. So they raised our shrines, though hmm. perhaps it's a blessing. A blessing? How so? A darkness fell upon Angren a time past, and it grows. The forest turns savage, its creatures drunk on blood. Folk have come to worship other cruel gods. It's time we abandoned this land forsaken and went south to Kedmerkvid. Well, you can hang out with us if you want. Our path leads south too, though Evil. not as far, said the queen. Do join us. Given the times, there's safety in numbers. The druids agreed hmm. and were grateful. They walked at the rear of the column, muttering prayers, their faces concealed beneath hoods. Are these guys gonna, like, raise up monsters to kill me? Oh, man. Oh, there's the circle. Treasures, any treats? Proclamation This is a logging zone. Any attempt to impede operations will be treated as sabotage, thus, subject to punishment of the highest order. Count Caldwell, you douchebag. and battles and battles. Just checking. Hello, vampire. People of Angren. Rumor has it the Nilfgaardian Empire eradicated nearly all monsters within its borders. If true, Angren must have posed a wholly unpleasant change for the Imperials. At every turn, every trip to relieve oneself in the bushes, a bloodthirsty beast lurks just out of sight. Oof, standard battle time. boosts. Yeah. There's Nilfgaardian uh, shields behind him. Nice. Don't like that. 
too early for him. That's not bad. Yeah, we'll go with that. You dead. Uh, where's the footman at? Bikeman. Come on, fellers. Oh. Lyrian Lummoxes. Woohoo! Oh. Oh well. Hopefully it just kills one. Oof. Wow. Not you. Use those guys. Everything alright? What a... It's a poison. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Jesus. Play these two. Hurt me. Oh crap. Actually, that's fine. I only need corpses, except sometimes they're quite fresh. Four, five, six, seven. As you command. Yes.
Yeah, screw it. I've hit the white of an eye from half a league away. We must trust each other. Army's a waste of time for one like me. There's a time to reap, a time to sow, and a time to die. Oh, that's awesome. Yep. Damage enemy in all units. All enemies with the same power by one. Ah! Woo woo woo. And none of them have the same power. One, two. And now I'll actually play a card. Life of me flowers, now here I'm marching proud. Boom. And roll one, two, three. You. Go right there. Woohoo! Get that card. Or, no, I won't, because I just outright win. I'm the best. Count Caldwell, quarter of Shifri, blah, 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 blah. We still lack enough loggers to meet the expectations of our most gracious emperor, Emir Van Emerus, the white flame dancing upon the graves of his foes. May the great sun shine upon him. If they'll not be tempted by coin, a whip will suffice. The boars are squatting like beasts in the woods, but I have no doubt you'll find them. I expect to have two dozen new laborers before the month's end. Jerk. Here then. Oh, 
almost at the lumber I need. Still almost. Hi, golden chest. I'll be back for you. Don't worry. Still just short of the lumber I want. Hello, guy on a bridge. Alright. Let's see what we got here. Cursed land. Before Meave, before Meave arrived in Angren, her only knowledge of the land came from the songs of troubadours who frequented her castle. Supposedly, it was a land cursed by the gods where evil lurked at every turn. At the same time, it seemed the poets aimed to exaggerate for effect. Now, on the verge of her next clash with a swamp beast, standing waist deep in a putrid bog, yuck, she understood there was truth to every word, to their every word. Assume the top unit in your graveyard and spawn a base copy of it. Yeah. Nice. Eh, that's fine. Ow! You, sir, are no fun. The chase is on! Quiet, or the Commissar will hear. Nice. And I shall put you out. For Rivia! Half a league away. Oh, you can have Bigger they are, easier they are to target. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. That works for me. Three redraws. Don't like you. Yeah, so they have orders. I'm a big fan of that. Yep. Oh, that's gonna be good. That's gonna be really good. I just have to keep him alive so he doesn't get killed. Put him out first. Left, See what happens. Right. Left. Right. Don't kill him. Nice. One with the highest power. Oh, okay. You. That'll do. Uh, going to end upwards, right? Put Gabor here. You should have put that. Kneecaps broken. That's fine. 
thick. Do two damage here, two damage there. Life at me flowed, now here a marching crowd. Ha. Hey, guess go. <laughs> Wait, you're serious? Ah, that sucked. We must trust each other. is probably going to eat that. If not now, then soon. So, blood. You and then you. Are you there? Yes. Are you there? This could hurt. Which one? Hi, buddy. Time to sow and a time to die. Do that. It works. Have any more damaged Browns in this? So, boop, boop, boop. Um, not supposed to be any smoke. This will pull out. What is that? It looks like a shield, so I'm gonna use it on. <laughs> uh, I use it on you. Bunch of armor. 
That looks like some kind of weird demon thing. Yikes. Okay, let's see it do a, wh a whole bunch with one card. Nice. Nope, not enough for you. First, hot daily, and can I build? This is four thousand, right? Not that. This. Should put that blacksmith in my deck. Don't I'll be able to make him though. Can actually. Adept, can I make you? Not yet. All right. And what's going on here, friend? Go from Count Caldwell to the sergeant. I expect initiative and creativity from my subalterns. Not whining about logistical issues or a critical lack of infrastructure. Pfft. You couldn't find a suitable building to store the collected taxes. Then find a bloody cave. There are hundreds of them in Angren, and despite what every peasant might say, bloodthirsty monsters do not lurk behind every shrub. Wrong. Think twice the next time you bother me with these trivial matters. Alright, loop around here, loop around down there. Through the mud and the muck, yeah. All right. I'll talk to that guy by the bridge. Ooh, there's a morale booster thing. Make sure there's nothing in the corner. Make extra sure I can't sneak through here. No dice. Hey, what's up, friend? Or enemy? Look like a Nilf Guardian to me, pal. Your Majesty, look what the scouts have found. A Nilf Guardian hiding in the shadow of a bridge. He looks like death, spotted from head to toe in sores and scabs. Ew. He claims he deserted a week ago and is looking for a boat to sail south back home. What shall we do with him? Since we have that morale boosting shrine, I'll take. I don't even need an extra dude. Yeah, we'll bring him. I know everyone's really sad. But don't worry, morale will go back to normal up here. Alright, 
map. This is where I was coming from, so we'll sneak here and make sure nothing funky's going on, and then we'll go... No, no, we'll go do this first. Screw it. Hello. Oh, you're going down, lumberjacks. Angren lies thousands of leagues from the sea. Yet the Imperial fleet looked chiefly to this land for wood, its ashes and oaks ideal for shipbuilding. The lumber was driven down the Yoruga to shipyards in Sintra and Atra. There, day and night, Nilfgaard's fleet grew and grew. So when Meave heard axes steadily hacking, the continual grind of saws, she halted her force and quickly dispatched scouts. Indeed, they found a lumber camp, banners overhead, the great sun blazing upon them. Though not critical to her mission, Meave was nonetheless tempted to disrupt the invader however she could. Oh, well, of course. Yeah, we're, we're gonna get him. The Emperor awaits a mass flow of logs, called the Queen, drawing her sword. But we shall send him corpses! Formation! Follow nice. me! When the Lyrians rushed forth with a cry on their lips, the Lumberjacks dropped their axes. Their black-clad guards, though likewise surprised, formed up and stood ready for battle. Grin and gold, the Nilfgaardian coastline extended thousands of miles, so it came as no wonder the black clads had an insatiable appetite for the lumber of sycamores and ewes. In order to defend such an expanse from Skelligan pirates, the Emperor needed to maintain a truly massive fleet, with ships numbering in the hundreds. Such an immense armada, however, came at a high price, costing the Empire nearly half its treasury. Short in battle. Let's get him. Two units destroyed, boost self by six, and damage enemy units by two. Yuck. Your life is mine now. That'll work. 
You. I've been the white of an eye from our fully to wear. Oh, I'm one of them. Should play blood. You and you know what? We'll play you actually. I'm coming. I'm coming. Ooh. Greetings. What is it? Boop. Can do a bunch of damage though. Idiots or Ouch. Pick the wrong one to damage, buddy. This house will be reaping black clad heads. Three and two cards. So. Zerikania, source of the best goods. Yeah, that's fine. You're done. I win. Nilfgaard's ranks folded. Soldiers fled in fright, stumbling over felled trees and corpses. The spread, Nevalian! Retroit! The air was heavy with the scent of resin and blood. As she caught her breath, the queen looked about. Hundreds of trees lay cut down in rows. Oak and ash enough to keep the shipyards working till winter. Neve ordered the lumber requisitioned, yet one of the loggers approached her. A man with a face like old leather, sawdust in his hair. Good lady, I know you war hard against Nilfgaard. I know you'd keep timber out of their hands. But then, see, we won't get paid. We'll see no coin till Sintra's shipyard see lumber. It's what the black lad said. What? I beg you, have mercy. We're simple folk. Been slaving since spring, got families to feed, and hunger looms ever close in wartime. I'll pay you for the wood. There you go. Neve looked at the logger's hands. Thick scars, crisscrossed fingers twisted by years of axe work. This wood I cannot allow to reach Nilfgaardian shipyards, she said. Yet neither can I let you go hungry. Yeah. I shall take the wood and pay you from my own purse.
Good job, Meave. That certainly didn't give me all that much wood. Unless it just means this wood here. I'll take one of those. Hey, I'll take this. On me feet, ye gods. What a whiner. That's a decent amount of wood. Never ends, I tell you. We'll never finish this blasted work. Work, work, work. And do I see anything from it? Even a measly bloody crumb. Never ends, I tell you. We'll never finish this blasted work. Hey, it's job security, right? <laughs> You've a big heart, my lady. Not many folk like you. Especially not in Angren. <laughs> a land be deviled in many ways. You've a big heart, my lady. Right. Do it for this little area. Then we go down here. Or over there. Ooh. Where's the. Th wow. There's a whole lot of places to go. Well, we're gonna go here to this town first. Keep up the good work, fellas. Guardians. You're going down. False hope. Nilf Guardians did their best to avoid service in the godforsaken swamps of Angren, whose waters teemed with monstrosities thought only to exist in nightmares. Those who were unsuccessful in their efforts took at least some comfort in the fact that they were located far from the front lines. Many had hoped to survive the war without encountering a single enemy force. The Nilf Guardians, it seemed, had never been taught that hope is the mother of fools. Standard battle, let's take him down. Number of allied units. Oh, oh. Oh. Yeah. That'll do nicely. Army's a waste of time for one like me. Skyatel! Attack! My pain serves a purpose. One of your teeth. <laughs> there you go. Out. <laughs> Here's lit again. Myself by how much? Three. Larry! Come on, 
Kevin Kessel. That's what I needed. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. draws you. That's, that works. That works. You. Left, right, left, right. Somebody. I've hit the white of an eye from half a league away. Oh, God! to me old lady. <laughs> what you got? <laughs> left, right, left. What now? Yep. This could hurt. There. You guys go back into the fire. And back. What did you eat? You ate the trash. 
trinket one. That's good. Off to the front yet again. Blood. Got any damage. You first. You there. Naturally. Outlaws. You there. Quiet! Oh, the commissar will hear. So you... Six damage to everybody. Nice. And we'll pass. Let's see what they can do in three cards here. End of trade. Ah, shice in trade. End of fear. Not enough. Oh man, my dude. You lose. Bye. Look at him go away. Woo woo. Darkest nights, darkest dreams. Cheeks are split with bloody streams. Neath the depths, our mistress waits. Drunk on tears, her appetite sates. Strength she saps, muddies the head. Lures you in, kind words she said. Then swamp you enter to find your end. Rejoice for now, you've time to spend. Ooh, creepy. Ooh, puzzle battles ahoy. And another kind of camp here. Well, it's 9 o'clock, so I think after that great victory, we'll call it here. Thanks for joining me, everybody. I'll see you on the next stream. Catch you next time.